This is the Little Cinzy Townhouse Shell Challenge. She made these townhouses, literally just shells of houses, in coming, getting ready for the new expansion pack. So, of course, I had to get in there and do my take, as always. So I roofed them, and I actually really like the way the roofing turned out. Simple roofing for them, you know, you've got these, like, hexagonal, hexagonal, whatever little rooms. So, of course, or they were actually octagonal? Octagonal, la la la. Simple to choose the roof for it right wanted to make sure that they all kind of looked a little different but here's my take okay because I had a lot of fun with this and it gets a little crazy and themey and interesting I am in Brightchester all right we are in one of the residential like student rentals whatever they're called okay I turned that off though it's just a residential because you can't have a full kitchen in the university housing that's what it's called university housing you can't have a regular kitchen and see my take was Mr. Sim Simerson okay he donates lots of money to Foxbury all the time he's like mm, take my money and he wanted to donate these townhouses for some lucky students that could have a little bit of a different experience in university and have full kitchens and nice baths to themselves. Well, not kind of like fully to themselves. You'll see what I mean. But Mr. Sim Simerson, he loves a good theme. And these are, these are university townhouses. So they are themed in colors. You got the blue house, you got the red house and the green house. Now that does change. It actually turns into blue orange, red. Uh, the green just wasn't, I love green. I just wasn't vibing with the green. So orange, there's so much available in orange. Plus they have those base game kitchen counters that come in all the base game colors. You know what I mean? So they come in blue and red and green. They come in all the crazy colors. And I really wanted to stick to a, a very similar color the whole way. There they are. They come in all the different colors. And I really wanted to like stay on brand and make each downstairs look exactly the same, but different colors. I mean, I go in and add their personality to it, right? But other than that, I wanted it to be as much copy paste as possible because that's where I think that Mr. Sim Simerson, this is a made up character if you haven't realized, would want to do this. He would want to kind of like, oh, copy paste, copy paste, but hey, you go into your room and you decorate it the way you want and live your college life. But downstairs, your life is blue. <laughs> I don't know how this came about. It just did. You know, when she created these townhouses on stream, I was like, oh, I want to create shops and like, but that's what she did. And so I didn't really want to do that because that's what she did. I wanted to branch out and do something different, but it, but it would be really fun to do my own like bookshop and maybe like a plant shop and just really cute little themed shops. Uh, but instead I go for the crazy chaotic and make colorful townhomes with a theme. I mean, I'm here for it though. I'm not mad at it at all. It takes me a minute to get there and decide the layout of downstairs because like I said, I want it cookie cutter, copy paste. It all looks the same. The exterior of the house is obviously different. So they're going to have different doors and windows. That's not all the same. But like inside the house, he just bought in bulk basically. He's like, all right, give me all these stove, uh, all these countertops in orange, all these countertops in red and all of them in blue and made his life real easy. I do go in and give them all the same table and chairs, couch, now here's the thing about their bedrooms. Originally I wanted them to each have their own bathroom and have their own bedroom. That doesn't happen because it is tiny upstairs. So they end up having kind of small thin rooms. They don't need a whole lot. They're they're in college. What do they need, right? They you know they just need a space to sleep and shower. So they each get their own room except for the blue house. The blue house has two young ladies that I created to live in that room. And they each have their kind of own side and it's decorated to their liking and they share a bathroom. There's a half bath downstairs though if you didn't notice. So each townhouse has a half bathroom downstairs. Upstairs they have a shared bath except for the orange house. Now the orange house has their half bath downstairs. Upstairs there are two bathrooms connected to each bedroom. Once again, getting into that top floor, it just varies a little bit. And then in the red house, one bathroom, two bedrooms. Here I am just trying to figure out like what color scheme we're gonna do in this one. I'm like, okay, well, let's do green. Let's stick to that original and do green. Foxbury is where I kind of think that these people live. I didn't wanna do the um, 
opposing team colors. I wanted to kind of, I was like, well, if I'm going to do red for Foxberry, you know, do red for Foxberry. But I didn't want it to be like overly, I don't know. And am I getting these confused? Hopefully I'm saying them right. Foxberry's red lobster. I'm like 99% sure you can correct me if I'm wrong. Also, it's 1231 in the morning as I'm recording this. I am chilling. My kids are asleep and I am living my best life over here just creating houses. So <laughs> I am going to get this uploaded in the morning at some point. Don't quote me on that. Probably be the afternoon when you're seeing this. But little Simsy is doing her shell tours. So I will be on Twitch at three o'clock watching little Simsy putting in my, my little bid to see if if it's a possibility, if she'll get to tour this house, which I'm excited for. I really put a lot of like heart into it, which I do with all my builds. I love building. It's funny because growing up, that's not what I played in The Sims 4, you know. It's definitely something that just recently I've, I've grown up this like love for. And it makes sense, you know. But growing up, I played as well as played in cast. I loved dressing up Sims growing up. I was just like the coolest thing, like virtual Barbie dolls, okay? But I also did a lot of gameplay as well. Did my own thing, didn't like do challenges. I don't think that was really a thing growing up. I'm born in the 90s, so it wasn't a thing. And this is just a whole nother thing for me. And I've really, really been enjoying building in The Sims. It's so much fun. And I'm guessing that you like it too if you're watching this. <laughs> All right, kind of getting back. So going into these houses, I definitely wanted them to have their own personality, right? Every exterior looks different. <laughs> if you didn't see, the lovely colorful fences are the toddler fences but it's perfect because the colors are spot on. And I don't think you really notice it unless you like look at it and you're like, something about that does look a little plastic, but hey, it's fine. All right, we are upstairs and I just placed random beds and rolled with it, okay? It's kind of crazy that this is how it went down because I was like, okay, let me get six beds put down, getting that spatial awareness of how things are gonna kind of look and making sure there's room for a bed and someone can get in the bed. So that's what I did. And then I kind of started organizing the room, seeing where everything would go. So this first sim is very planty vibe. Second sim in the first house in the blue house, pop colors, loves her kitty cat I actually put a kitty cat in the house so she's got stuff for a cat and in the sims that I created they have a cat you know Mr. Sim Simerson wanted them to have a different university experience and if that means that she gets to have a cat she gets to have a cat so that's what we did in the orange house you have a bohemian sim loves the plants and just Mm, I don't know. I don't just light colors and flowy and very, I don't know. I, I don't even know how to explain it, but that's where we went with her. Now her roommate, you'll see the black bed. He is sporty, gone, a little goth. Maybe something tragic happened to him recently and he's just kind of toned down and he lives a little bit more of an alternative, darker style. But I'm thinking that he's also in school on scholarship because he loves sports and he continues to play even though that's not where his mind is right now. The last house, the red house, you got two gamers, okay? You got a boy gamer and a girl gamer. They're upstairs, their bedrooms just decorated for them. So I really had fun deciding who these people were and what their life looked like. For the orange house, I had this idea that, you know, they've kind of melded together. And I kind of ship them. I love them a lot, I have to say. But I kind of melded them together where, you know, he's very hard and she's very soft. And he's got a plant on his desk because she gave it to him. The outside of their bedrooms, she's got some decorations down and, and just really tried to mold them together to create this like harmonious relationship between the two of them. And then for the gamers, they're just a match made in heaven, all right? They love games and that's their, their vibe and they're just living their best life. I do go in and put pictures of them around the house. So if you go to the gallery and download it, you'll uh, find some beautiful pictures of all these Sims together. It took a long time, let me tell you. I almost gave up on it, trying to get pictures of all these Sims and then putting it in their inventory when the game has been a little, um, <clears throat> um, like slow, a little glitchy, loading screens taking like three minutes and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, it's frozen, but it's not frozen. And then I load in at the last second. Whew, that's all I have to say. 
Ooh, it's been crazy getting pictures of them and getting it in there. And it was a lot, but I'm really glad I did it. I think it adds a really great element. So if you do get to download this house, it's Cat X Thrash on the gallery. Cat X Thrash, just like the name here on YouTube. I really put a lot of thought into this. I... I don't know what to say. It was a lot of fun and I really love doing little Simsy's shell challenges for that reason. Would I have ever created three townhouses for six different Sims in color theme and and like done this? You know what I mean? So she does that. She did that, right? She was like, here's your challenge and you get to go in and just be creative. And it's so much fun. If you've never done a shell challenge, I don't I don't care whose shell challenge it is. Go onto the gallery, hashtag shell challenge, find one, do it. Even if it's an old one, get inspired because there's just something really great about it. And I mean, that was one of my favorite things. So I've been doing this since July, right? I've, I started my YouTube channel in the middle of July and my first video I ever posted was a Simsy shell challenge because watching her on YouTube for so long and seeing her do these shell challenges, I just was like, I want to do that. That seems so great. How cool and fun. And what could I do to make that a spin on, you know, like my version? What does my version look like? What is Kat's version? And so now getting to do it. Uh, it's just, it's great. You know, she didn't do one in September, but I did her July, her August, October, her Halloween one, and now doing her November one. I'm really glad that she did it because I look forward to them. It's genuinely a really fun time to get to do this. So really getting in there and doing last minute details in all these houses, trying to make sure everything's kind of pushed off to the side so Sims can get around. Now I will say when I played in this house, the Sims can do anything. I didn't notice anything that they weren't able to do, but I will say that it's tight spaces. So trying to do photography, like they can't really stand next to each other, but you know, they have room to do their own thing. Okay. It works. And I, it, it's fine. We're going to get in here in just a minute and look at these pictures, but not before I clutter the heck out of these houses. This is my favorite. I love doing gamer rooms and using all the LED lights and all the neon lights. I just think it's it's so fun. I have another build that I was working on and I just have been super busy and haven't finished it and it's like on my to-do list but she has got a gamer wall, a, a light wall if you will and it's cool and I love it and her, her room is black so like that neon just pops. Posters, posters, posters everywhere, gaming posters, neon lights, these are, she loves the void critter. I give them a void critter downstairs in the like little hamster cage. They have a void critter. I just thought that was a little something extra, something fun. So there are two pets. Actually, you know what? I also give the dark sporty gothic dude, alternative dude. He has a goldfish in his room. I don't know if it's a goldfish, but I put a fish bowl in his room. <laughs> so they each have a pet <laughs> to their own level of what they can do. A little, little something extra. I gave them black curtains if you saw that. I thought, okay, well, Mr. Sim Simerson is supplying the curtains, I guess. I don't know. It just it just worked to just give everyone black curtains. You know, curtains don't always fit the right way in some windows. So I just, I stuck with what worked and it's fine. I don't think it looks too crazy or like outlandish that they would all have black curtains. It seems to fit bit well. Landscaping, just trying to figure out what looked best. I gave them a pool and a little area to kind of hang out. Here are the houses. I think they turned out really cute. I like the color theme. I'm here for it. They're all a little different, but they definitely are the same thing, you know? Gave them a lot of items that were similar, like the flower pots on the front, you know, different colors but the same arrangement, so to speak. And then there's their little pool area. It got some lounging areas. I put coffee cups around to look like, you know, they've been hanging out there, chilling, you know, not partying whatsoever. The back, it gave them different interests, like an art easel, so, you know, just some stuff to really dive into the fact that they're all individuals living here. There's her pet stuff. I think the girl's name is Cat, and her kitty, her cat is Kitty. Anyways, so just really cutesy down here. I 
didn't do a whole lot to the walls. Here's the half bath. They all look very similar. Same setup, same stuff. Upstairs, a little seating area. You can see the pictures of my girls right there. Got plants and they have bookcases. This is their shared bathroom and it's got the litter box for their cat. It is a shower bath like combo. So whatever your needs. Here's their cute little bedroom. Very opposites, right? You got this very girly pink and then you have girly green and planty. And I love it. In the orange house, not too much has changed. Got some pictures on the wall. You got this very industrial but also boho vibe because you have the alternative sim and the bohemian sim living here. Knitting stuff, cards, sage, stuff to make their personalities pop. And I kind of love them. Like I said, I ship them. So there's like a million pictures of them everywhere. They're so cute. Gave them a guitar, which they can get to in play. I had some Sims playing it, of course. And this is her room. Soft and girly, very eclectic, bohemian, you know, if I'm right there. She's got some pictures hanging up of him. This is her bathroom, all by her lonesome. Then his bedroom is a little darker. He's got his fish and just a couple of little plants that I imagine like she was like, here, I got this plant for you. And he was like, thanks, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> and there's his bathroom, super simple. I didn't do a whole lot in the bathroom rooms. Here we're in the red room. I like the graffiti pictures that I put up. I just think it's cool. Gave them a little nook area right there because of course they had the area. Why not? They've got their void critter. They've got lava lamps to like give the mood. I know that some of those little bobblehead things are floating. Ignore it. Just a nice little seating area. Nothing too crazy up here. And there's their pictures. They're so cute. A couple of plants, bookcases, more lava lamps because I really like the light that they admit and kind of turn the room a different color. So she's got two of them in her room. She's got that quintessential like shelving unit and lots of neon lights everywhere. Just really cute. Go into his room. He's got a lava lamp, of course, and then just posters, posters spread everywhere. Pictures of them because they're roommates and they kind of got a thing for each other. I don't know. I really love it. And I hope you really love it too. If you do like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, keep coming back for more. I'm really enjoying Enjoying doing this and I hope y'all are enjoying it too. You can get this house off the gallery cat x thrash and I hope you have a great night wherever you are. Bye y'all.